boys and girls. Nice to see you again. Well, today I'm going to read a book about a train, but this is a special train. Let's find out. It's called Oi! Get Off Our Train, and it's written by John Birmingham. And John has done all the pictures too. And his, his illustrations are so good. You can see here's a dog standing on the front of this steam train going over a viaduct. And uh, the pictures are fabulous. So let's have a look inside. Uh, who's going to get off the train? Well, let's find out. So here's the train. Looks like the dog's uh, in charge of the coal. Uh, but who's that? Someone uh, who's driving the train. Let's find out. Oi, get off our train. You aren't still playing with that train, are you? Get into bed immediately. You know you have to be up early for school tomorrow. Fantastic train set here. And uh, looks like the little boy's playing with it. Here's your pyjama case dog. I found it under a cushion in the sitting room. Now settle down and go to sleep. And so he did. But look, the train is moving. That must be the little boy and that must be the pyjama case dog. And the train's on its way. Oh, that's exciting. We're ready to go now. Don't make too much noise with the shovel, says the boy. Can you see here's the shovel putting the coal into the fire to make the water hot in the steam train. And it looks like they're going through the night. If there's time, we can have a picnic. Well, that sounds fun. I wonder if there's going to be time. It looks as if it's going to be foggy ahead. If it is, we can play ghosts. Oh look, they're playing at ghosts. They must have stopped the train. That looks like a good game. Look, an elephant. Oi, get off our train. They both shout. I wonder why the elephant is on the train. Please let me come with you on your train. Someone is coming to cut off my tusks and soon there will be none of us left. You can see the tusks here. Hmm, what do you think they say? Perhaps they say yes. Oh look, here's the elephant. It's going to be a very hot day. If it is, we must find somewhere for a swim. Oh, fabulous, they do find somewhere for a swim. And the elephant loves the water. Oh, what a great time they're having. But look, someone else getting on the train. Oi! Get off our train. They're all shouting the same thing. I wonder why. Please let me come with you on your train. If I stay in the sea, I won't have enough to eat because people are making the water very dirty and they're catching too many fish and soon there will be none of us left. Hmm, what do you think they're going to say? The train's moving again. Perhaps they're all on the train now. I think there's going to be a strong wind. If there is, we can all fly kites. <gasps> Look, it is a windy day and they've all got their own kite. That looks fun. Another arrival on the train. Looks like a crane. Oi, 
get off our train. They all shout the same thing. I wonder why the crane wants to get on the train. Please let me come with you on your train. I live in the marshes and they are draining the water out of them. I can't live on dry land and soon there'll be none of us left. Hmm. What do you think they're going to say? Well, the train's moving again, so perhaps the crane's already on the train. It looks as if it's going to rain soon. If it does, we can all muck about with umbrellas. <gasps> that sounds fun. Look, they've all got an umbrella in the rain. What fun. Another arrival. I wonder what this tiger wants. You know what they're going to say? Oi, get off our train. Well, let's find out what the tiger's story is. Please let me come with you on your train. They're cutting down the forests where I live and soon there will be none of us left. Hmm. Do you think they're going to say yes? Well, the train's moving again. I think there's enough snow now. If there is, we can all throw snowballs. And look, here they are, playing with snow. That looks exciting. That looks like an enormous snowball. And of course, there's another animal. Do you know what that one is? It looks like a polar bear. Oi, get off our train. Well, what will the polar bear say? Please let me ride on your train. I live in the frozen north and somebody wants my fur to make a coat out of and soon there'll be none of us left. Hmm, do you think they say yes? Probably. If it does not stop snowing soon, we're going to get stuck. Good heavens. Oh look, stuck in the snow. All the animals are trying to shovel the snow, move it, push it out of the way to let the train through. We must go back now. I have to get to school in the morning, said the little boy. So off they go. It looks like they travel through the night and into the town or city. Here's the train, can you see it? Mummy's come into the bedroom. You must get up immediately or you will be late for school. There are lots of animals in the house. There's an elephant in the hall, a seal in the bath, a crane in the washing, a tiger on the stairs and a polar bear by the fridge. Is it anything to do with you? Hmm, I wonder. And there's the back cover showing the tiger asking if he can get on the train. And there's the back and front cover. A Wonderful Story by John Birmingham. Oi, get off our train. I hope you liked it. See you soon. Bye-bye.